Iyao raramadam Chine ke ge mere giya Iyao raramadam Chine ke ge mere giya Iyao raramadam Chine du ge nye nu giya Iyao raramadam Chine ke ge mere giya Iyao raradokdao Chidi du ge nye giya Mwa o ra ra ma da ho Chine ke ge mere giya Iya o ra ra ma da ho Chine ke ge mere giya Iya o ra ra ma da ho Chidi du ge mere giya E be ra o ra ra ma da ho Chidindu gaza no gea, iya o ra ra ma da ho. Chide ke ge mere gea, iya o ra ra ma da ho. Chidindu ge mere gea, iya o ra ra ma da ho. Chide ke ge mere gea, ima o ra ra gea ho. Chine ke ge me ki di me unwa o ra ra ma da ho. Chine ke ge nye no ge ya e be ra o ra ra ma da ho. Chine du ga za no ge ya i ya o ra ra ma da ho. Chine ke ge me ne ge ya e bo bu la ji ra ha ki je. Chuku ge buru du ga, inyo bu la jira ki me. Chuku ga nuru no gogo, hapora hage na bedi biya. Chuku ga nuru no gogo, hapora hagi nu ge me. Chuku ga zanu hoku, e bobu le jira hage ga. Chuku ga nuru nu gogo, heke chiri e akba unwa ge. Chuku ga to hapo ya, heke chira karaka ge. Chuku ga to po ya, inyo bola hajira hagi me. Chuku ge buru nu ga, hapora hagi nu ge me. Chuku ga zara nu goku, inyo bola hajira hagi me. Chuku ge buru nu ga Mana unwa ora ramada hum Chine ke ge nye nu ge ya Inya ora ramada hum Chine ke ge mere ge ya Ima ora ra ge ya hum Chine ndu ge me ki di me Unwa ora ra no ga hum O nye ne nye nwa ge nye no ge ya Inya o ra ra ma da ho O bi ni gwe e me wo ya Nwa o ra ra ma da ho Chine ke ge me re ge ya E be ra in e be si su na Chine ke a za la ge ya Inya e na yo chine ke, chine ke e nye wo ge ya. Asi mwa o ra ra ma da ho. Chine du ge nye no ge ya. Mwa o ra ra ma da ho. Chine ke ge nye no ge ya. I welcome you all. The song I sang is what? The Holy Spirit say I should sing for the sake of those who do not understand uh, Igbo language. I'm an Igbo woman. I come from the southeastern part of Nigeria. So that was my uh, language. And the song means that. That, is, that thing that is difficult for you, that God will do it. Remember, we serve the God of impossibility. And God can do all things. Uh, to, to, for you to become pregnant is nothing before God because he is the giver of all these things. All you need to do is to ask and believe. With this, I welcome each and every one of you. I'm seeing 60 people, but I believe that nobody has shared this program. I believe that maybe if you go there, it's only Cindy. 
that have liked this video. Cindy, I see you. May God bless you. I am seeing your handwork in the comment section. And I'm seeing all the people that are sharing this program. May God Almighty bless you. To be honest with you, God is really doing wonders in this platform. But the fact that I'm not sharing testimony doesn't mean there are a lot of testimony. Come on, I am a human being. See, I am backing my baby here. Sometimes you will be tired. At times I will be conducting research. My brain will be fatigued. I can't even remember anything. So God is really, I told you guys, if you can remember, if you are following me, ending of last year, I told you guys that this January, it is going to rain. Believe you me, it is raining. God has blessed a lot of people in this platform, and I know he will continue to bless. Do not doubt whatever I tell you. Whatever I teach here, I have conducted research. That is why I cannot on my camera and tell you what I do not know. And if God bless you, maybe you want to carry belly. Once God bless you, why are you asking for my number? If you want to send gift to me, tell me I will send you my address. But my number, I do not give out my number. Because if I give out, I will not rest. Please. God is doing wonders. God is continue going to do wonders in this platform. There are two things in this life. If you are serving God, if you are not serving God and you don't join them in the other way, you are just like a balloon. You see, balloon is just like this babe. If you blow it, it will blow anywhere. I'm telling you people the truth. If you are watching me right now, you don't believe in God, you don't believe in the other way. You are just like this when they blow you. Have you seen some people? It's just like me now. Somebody will go and go to native doctor and say, you want to go and do me something. <laughs> you know that you are looking for trouble for yourself. That song that I sing, I, anytime I feel like I have something, I sing it. I say, God, God, <laughs> Chuku buere mala hapora hamuna bedibia Badi gazara moku hapora hamuna mini Chuku gazara moku inyobula hajira hamme Chuku gazara namuoku ebobula hapora hamu If I don't know since I was born up to this month like there, there was a song that they used to sing they say since i was born but now i am getting old i have never seen the lord changing since i was born and now i'm getting old i have never visited or even see how native doctor looks like so imagine you carrying my name my picture going there is it not a waste of time <speaking in Spanish> Ogona maya gaye metutamo, nsina maya gaye bumo. Simple. Just make sure that your hands, your heart is clean. Once you are clean with this, nobody can do you anything. But you must be what prayerful. You must be spiritually alive. Some of us in the spirit, we are dead. They're just like a walking cough. That's why whenever they pin you, it will touch you. If you like, go and try and see how God is going to answer you. So, you must serve God or you belong to them. This is what is happening in this world now. Either you are in or you are out. If you are a child of God and somebody is doing another thing, being a child of God is not going to church. This is the misconception our people have. When they go to church, they sleep in the church, but immediately they step out of the church, they do worse. That is not what I mean. Being a child of God means that you are Christian-like. What are Christian? Christian is Christ-like. Sleeping in the church, going to the church, uh, putting on your some people do you know that many people have different purposes of going to church some people go to church to show their clothes maybe they bought a new cloth they want to go and showcase it so that their friend will see some people go 
to go and dance. Maybe there is a particular uh, uh, sister or brother that is singing very well, that have melodious voice. They like listening. They will go and dance. Many people go because they want, want to go and receive Holy Communion. Many people go maybe because there is one bubble that you are eyeing or one girl that you are eyeing there. You like seeing. Few goes to church to go and worship God. That is why going to church will not lead you to heaven. What will lead you to heaven is your character, your legacy, what you have done. So with this, I will encourage you. And I want to, before I continue our today's topic, you see, I have here. Our today's topic, I want to say this. I want to put a disclaimer and I want to tell us something. I have said this before. Maybe majority of you do not um, understand it. Now, Facebook, I put a disclaimer that I am not a medical practitioner. I'm not an expert. I am a researcher. I teach. I study and I come here to impart knowledge on women trying to conceive. And believe me, a lot of women have become pregnant through my teachings i do not prescribe i do not recommend but rather i come here to impart educate sanitize women that are trying to conceive i want to tell the, tell you this many of you that are watching me if you are up to 35 years whether you are married or not if by any means any chance you become pregnant please i beg you in the name of god or in the name of anything you worship or you cherish most, leave it. Please, leave it. You see that child? That child will be a blessing to you. There was one of our sisters. I, I, I don't like discussing, although I'm not going to mention the person's name, but I just want to use it to teach. I know majority of you might be in this situation she had been trying to carry belly and eventually maybe she was hoping that the person she's with is going to marry her and immediately she become pregnant and the person said go and buy the Peking. She was asking me what to do. I wrote to her. I said, God blessed you. Do not, do not do anything to that child. If you do, God is not going to forgive you. This is the sin against the Holy Spirit. What is the sin against the Holy Spirit? You are aware that this thing is not good. You went ahead and do it. And this is what you have been praying for. For over years, you are 40. You still have, what is wrong with people? I have, maybe I'm going to make a full video of this. If you are 35 to 40, you are a woman. You never marry. Nobody they ask you whether you they sell or you they buy. I beg, try and have your own picking. You may not understand until your old age. I told her, don't touch this picking. This picking is a blessing to you. If he say he doesn't want to marry you, he will not. Tell him bye bye. Tell him bye bye and continue your life. You have been praying. God bless you. You don't need it again because somebody somewhere is telling you that he's not going to marry you. Therefore, you want to go and buy the, oh God. Well, I am telling you right now, if you're a young lady, a, a young woman watching me, maybe you are seeing, you, 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 there's somebody you are believing that this person is going to marry you. Eventually, you take it for the person and the person say, uh, I don't want it again. Tell him bye-bye. The one you have is bigger. This kind of people that broke pe people's house, this is the type of person that will marry tomorrow. He will never, the, 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 the person that will suffer it is the, the next person he will get married to. Please, please. When, when you are 30, I don't know if you people understand how this pregnancy happened. If you are 35, you are already old. In terms of reproduction, all your organs, all the body, the this in your body, reproductive this, they are going down. They are not growing up. If you manage to become pregnant at this stage, you should be grateful to God. 
you should preserve it. You should papa it. It's not something you joke with. It's not something you think, oh, should I going to give it? At this age, you are still doing boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, seriously? Please. Please. Once it enters, it God have a papers. Maybe because you didn't get married. Do you know that immediately, maybe immediately you give birth to that child, men will start asking your hand in marriage. Nowadays, men, they, they like to test before they marry you. So let's go to today's topic. I believe you people get that message. Share this video. You guys should share this video. Like this, play, uh, this page. If you have not clicked on that like button, please, as we'll be going out after this program, click on that like button recommend this page share your experience you guys have had several experience in this page share your experience so that other people will come to know about this page they will come and learn that is the only thing that gives me joy i'm not getting anything from here your joy is what is keeping me so recommend this page if it touches you you like what we are doing you can subscribe to support this page and god will bless you now we want to look at we want to look at the right time and i have two books here i don't know the topic i want to discuss today so we want to look at the best time that i don't know the topic i wrote there can somebody remind me the topic in this video because i have i i just confused myself i don't know the topic that I supposed to teach. Okay, the best time. Okay, somebody was asking me. And I don't know if people truly watch my videos. Because the question people ask me, at times it makes me to para. Somebody say, please, what can I do to become pregnant? Is there anything that I'm not teaching in this platform? Even if it is your first time of coming across my, uh, my, my platform, you should cool down and watch the video watch my previous videos okay best time okay choma said no the best time to get pregnant okay thank you choma and cindy and um, cindy choma is your assistant now choma is doing the same thing that you are doing so a lot of people do this and somebody asked me the person said um of lying without mercy how can you ov when there is no mercy it's not possible i don't know where you guys are getting that uh, notion and i was reading was it a video or something somebody was asking how many eggs uh, does uh, a woman have i have explained that several times i said every woman as we are now you cindy chioma and uh, mary chi everybody if you're a woman you we are born with one million eggs so how do how does this egg diminish it's just like this my baby last year december 17th i gave birth to him so now um, last two years december and last year now he becomes one year right which means he have grown that is how human being is every day every day you are growing either uh, older you don't even grow younger you grow older so the same thing applicable with egg when we are born every woman have a million egg and every day of our life we lose 30 uh, immature eggs so by the time you get to puberty you have about 300 and something thousand eggs remaining so by the time you get to 30 to 35 you have 100,000. 100, By 20, you might have. I say I put might because sometimes by 40, you might have 20,000. I put might because in most cases, most women do not have um, egg left in down there. There is something you call low ovarian reserve. You, there is another one you call over, uh, uh, diminishing ovarian reserve so all these things can happen just like somebody who have not reached the age of menopause which is 50 and she becomes she enter menopause and in that same comment somebody asked how many eggs does a woman release during an ov so it depends 
and uh, okay the, it's like the person was teaching something and somebody was like you say woman release one egg what about these uh, people that give birth to twins do you know how twins happen we have two types of twins we have uh, identical and fraternal uh, twins so in identical twins is only one egg fertilized by one uh, semen i don't want to use the other one so when they felt like they split and they are always the same identical they are always this if they are boys they are going to be boys if they are girls they will be girls they don't have boy and girl so in fraternity uh twins you you can have boy and girl why these are two different eggs uh fertilized by two different um semen so that is the difference so somebody said in that video how many eggs does a woman release it depends it depends every woman have two ovaries you might release egg maybe this month with your right ovaries or left ovary but luckily for you if you release with the two ovaries then this could lead to um, twins and you might release with one uh, ovaries and it might split and turn to identical twins so you nobody can category you can know this maybe through the use of ultrasound if you want to know how many eggs that you release each month which means you have to be doing follicle tracking you have to be tracking your follicles to know how many eggs we are released or whether if you ovary so somebody said what can i do i'm answering speaking generally before i enter into this topic somebody said what can i do to become pregnant oh it's a process it's a journey you have to do everything you have to put in all effort yeah there's some roles you need to play yes some people think uh, when i want to become pregnant i will go to doctor doctor will conduct test. doctor will give me like many people ask me what can i take to become pregnant what can you take by the way i am not a medical practitioner i am not an expert i am a researcher but i'm speaking based on the concluded researches that i have conducted do you guys see how i'm speaking freely if i speak without our country language I managed to choose some words, you know, but now I'm, I'm expressing myself fully. Are you guys enjoying it? So, number one, you want to become pregnant. It's a process, right? The first thing you should do, walk straight, sit up, walk straight, go to your physician, which is gynecologist or fertility experts. When you get there, tell them that you want to become pregnant. Don't just go. If you are visiting them, there are two types of people that visit gynecology. Some maybe you go there for normal checkup or something like that. But if you tell them that, oh, you want to become pregnant, they will not know the kind of um, test they are to conduct on you. So that is the number one step. The number two is you take your vitamins. You take your vitamins. It's very, very important. You might not understand the meaning of that. Number three, this is where the wahala will come. You need to help yourself. You need to watch what you eat. <laughs> you need to watch what you eat. It's not easy. Sometimes it happens to me. I feel like I want to eat this thing that is sweet. But you see, you, you cannot eat it. It's not because you don't want to eat it, but because... You, you, you need to sacrifice. You need to watch what you eat. If you are eating healthy food, you will hardly encounter any challenges. I am telling you the truth. The food you eat defines you. If you are the person, you wake up in the morning, you go and buy bread, probably white bread. Uh, you go and buy Milo, Pronto, all these, the, you know the content of sugar in those things. And... You drink it in the afternoon, maybe you eat rice at night, you go and eat. If you want to eat um, like people that eat apple and a bar, make sure that your soup is bigger than whatsoever you swallow. Okay, one day I'm going to make a video on how I eat my food. Like I eat swallow once every week, once every week. 
but now i want to increase it to two uh, times in a week so that i'll be having enough of that vegetable when i want to eat swallow now this swallow might be like this one full but if you see the soup the soup will be you'll be like what is this so you are getting the, the the main thing you need in your body is in the soup right you have vegetable there you have fish maybe you have meat and other things you have protein you have a mineral for example you, you have vitamins if you have um, if you cook your soup like the soup i have in the fridge right now i have two types of soup i have aura soup i have uh, 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 okra soup and you know okra is very very good so you have okra and i cooked it with spinach so what you need what your body really need is in the soup why the other one is to help to hold your body i don't know if you people are getting me because if you lick only the soup in a few minutes you become hungry but for you to hold your body and do you know that our body reacts to the way we train it if you are the type of person that eats too much you will see your, your body will start to demand for more and you start you know your stomach will start expanding you start eating too much so any day you did not feed your body the way you used to you feel like you want to collapse i don't know if you have done keto diet before you understand there was a time i was too horrible cause so i went into keto diet and that was after my first issue so i went into keto diet i nearly buy it's not easy so that is life for you you need to do this to support yourself make exercise it's because of my baby i would have teach you people yoga exercise i'm not good in exercise my exercise is strolling around make yoga exercise do you know that there is some yoga if you go to youtube you guys have this in facebook i think um, um, um yoga exercise there make exercise walk avoid stress when you do all these things you will see that your brain at night please sleep if you're a woman trying to conceive sleep that since how many years you have been counting ceilings what have you counted what have you achieved please i watched a video and we do this always it's not good i understand i understand everything you may think you are feeling but it's not good you are not helping it you are just worsening it i watched a video of a woman that by in the uk she was going to work. She knows that her temperature was high. They were telling her, go home, go home. She doesn't want to go home until she, she, she collapsed. And that is the end. Please, please. Night is meant for sleeping. Night is not the time to, to think. If, if, if you want to reflect over your life, it's, it's different thing. You can wake up at a particular time, speak a word upon your life, but i'm talking about night sleep so now the title best time to carry belly we have only two time two time in a month or in a circle for you to be called a mother for you to achieve pregnancy but before you will do this you must make sure that you are seeing your monthly flow the monthly flow is very very important like that person said she's uh he's ovulating without uh menstruation i disagree with that person i don't know where that notion is coming from all the researches that i have been conducting i have not seen any research that say that a woman will be ovulating without except if you are a woman that have given birth before like somebody like me I might not necessarily see my mercy, but I can become pregnant because of my body. But outside that, I don't think it's possible. We have you have two times in in a circle or in a month to carry belly. One is what is known. I know many people will not come here with their pen and paper. Why me? I am here. 
with my pen and paper. Tomorrow, when you go out, they will still ask you, uh, what is this? How can I do this? If you are coming here, I believe you are coming to learn. So you should focus on learning. Come with your pen and paper. Do not come here to, my head is not fine now. I don't wear expensive weapon or expensive clothes so that you will say you are coming to look at my hair. No, if you are coming here, just know that you are coming to learn. When you learn, you can teach people around you. You can motivate, you can put smile in many people, just like I am putting smile. God is using me to put smile in many of you. So, when is the best time? The best time is your fertile days and the most fertile day. Fertile days are the days in your circle depending. Yeah. Another thing you must, for you to figure out this thing that I'm saying, you must know your length. If you are watching me right now, you don't know your length, I can say that your name is Sorry. Go and learn Lent. You can read about it in Google. I see a lot of video on uh, Facebook. Many people, medical practitioners, they have made videos about this on Facebook and YouTube. So you don't have any excuse not to know your Lent. Go and learn your circle Lent. If you know your Lent, it's very easy. I can give you a testimony. Somebody testify. He say, oh God, uh, my God bless you. Do you know that I don't know that my circle was 21 and I have been trying to carry better for so long until I came across your video. Somebody shared your video to me. Do you see the importance of sharing video? When you share my video, I don't become any gift. I don't become any money. But you are also helping to spread gospel. When God is going to bless, God will also bless you because you are among those that shares. So she said after watching the video, she started practicing those things. And hold and behold, today she is pregnant. Especially people with 21. It's so confusing. And if you are not aware of it, honestly speaking, you are going to stay like that. Because you can imagine yourself when you are seeing your mercy. That time you are you you are you, you are already fertile. Until somebody tells you that is when you will know. So it's very very important for you to know your length. When you know your length, you are paving way. You are helping yourself to achieve pregnancy so easy. If you have 28 days, which is the normal circle, then something should tell you, oh, around the circle 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, this is when I have opportunity to become a mother. If you have 30, you should know around 15 to 16, up to 17, that you are going to become a mother if you have 35 which is the longest circle you said oh around from 19 because 19 is the day that is like you are likely going to ovi then when you have this thing in your mind you will not figure out and you will not know when to jollificate you will not know when to get ready but if you do not know all these things, normal circles start from normal circle is um, your mercy must come two days till 35. If you see your mercy a day, it's not a good sign. If your circle, if your mercy lasts just for a day. It is not a good sign. It must be up to two days. So if you do not know, I give you this as a homework. If you do not know this, I will advise you go and say, so the problem we have is that we don't like learning. This generation don't like to learn. We like easy things, you know, 
but we can spend our time watching movies, uh, listening to gossip, uh, watching things that will not add any value to our life. If you spend your quality time, you spend on unnecessary things, gossiping. You see somebody will be on phone discussing about another person. Why the person you are discussing about is busy making her money, is busy working, is busy imparting knowledge on people. You are sitting down there, you will call this person, hey, nah, this tochi, eh, this tochi is so wicked. You are discussing about tochi, but tochi is here. I'm imparting knowledge. You are there. And you will see they will discuss for over two hours. Later, they will tell you they don't used to have time. But you have time to discuss another person. This is exactly how most of us are. There are some apps like Patience. Um, <laughs> Patience, <laughs> this is your name, eh? <laughs> I'm a boy. Ah, Patience, <laughs> this is your name is funny. Patience say just download the flow or period. Yes, exactly. Even me, when I was trying to do this, I have that app. Then, you, 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 if you have the app, be, even be, with the app, you must know your circle. It's not the app that will, change, that will calculate your circle. Because when you want to fill in your information in the app, the, the app is going to ask you to, you know, fill in your three circles. So how are you going to fill it if you don't know? So you better go and learn it. Go and learn your circle. This is not, uh, there is no sh uh, shortcut about it. And if you learn it, it will be, I discovered that a lot of people, a lot of people following me, they do not know this. They do not know this. They do not know this. This is why I am emphasizing on it. Go and learn your circle. Go to Facebook, watch videos. Go to YouTube, watch videos. Go to Google, search. Then from there, use your calendar. Use your calendar. What is Lent? The circle Lent is the interval between your two periods. So you learn it. Any day you see your flow, mark it in the calendar. When you mark it, you wait until the day is starts. When I mean flow, exactly when that thing that looks like red. There are some people, before they see it, they will see something that look like that. No. When you start counting is when the real distance starts coming out. That is when you will now write the one. Then after that, you wait. For example, if you have 28 days and maybe your distance started on the first, you will count, you will count 20, 28 then it means that your next one will start on the 30th, not 28. This is, this, is, uh, this is the mistake some people make. It means that it's going to start on the 30th of this month. People with short circle like 21, it means that every... That is weird. This is what is confusing a lot of people. You, have you heard people saying that they see their flow two times in a month? You are not seeing it two times. We have one circle. And uh, somebody was asking me how many how many times do uh, do uh, OV happen? Does it happen two times in a month? No, OV happens once in a month. So now, if <laughs> sorry, that if you have twenty one days, it means that every twenty one days you are going to be experiencing your flow. This is normal. It is normal. So you bear that in mind. So you need to go and uh, figure out when you are likely going to OV or maybe your fertile windows. This will help you to figure out when to start jollificating. Because a, a lot of people, I will use 21 days and 28 days as an example if you have 21 day circle so let's assume now it started the real distance started today then when it started your body your body like another question that people ask they always say uh, can i get pregnant when i am seeing my uh, uh flow 
so this is all you hear some people they say they always get pregnant when they are seeing their flow yeah it's possible because people with 21 days you see 21 you are already fertile when you are seeing your men see unlike somebody with unlike somebody with 28 days and if you have 28 days and your flow lasts for four days maybe let me use five days because this is last for five to six or seven days so within this time you are not fertile so there is no how you can become pregnant when you are menacing so now after six seven eight once you enter nine your body now is ready to carry pregnancy Unlike somebody who is 21, between 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So, so what you uh, 21 days now, your body is already fertile. If your girl go get that mind to jollificate with you on your mercy day, you will become pregnant because your your body is already fertile. That's why have you not heard some people say. Maybe, or maybe all these people that does not unwanted pregnancy, you will hear them, they will tell you, but I did it only once. It's only once we did it. Do you know why it happened? Because they jollificated on the day of her fertile windows. Fertile windows, some people always fold their hands, balance, waiting for um, the ovular day. And these people that are waiting for the ovular day do not know when the ovular happened. Your best chances, your best opportunity is your fertile windows. Do you know why? Okay, once you enter your fertile window, now, according to research, your husband's semen can last up to five days in your body. So, if your, if your organ deposit a lot of semen there, then the semen... There is two types of semen, a female and a male semen. The male semen lasts just three days. It swims faster, but die faster. It lasts just for three days. While the X, which is female, female a semen, can last up to five days. It swims slow, but lasts for uh, uh, five days now let's say even if the uh, y that is male distinct by at three days the x is still there will still go and uh, fertilize the egg let's say you have um um 21 days circle if you have 21 days so likely you are going to ov on the the seventh immediately your mercy finish now although you are messy but your body is ready if your organ jollificate with you within this day that is within your mercy days then the 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 semen will be there waiting for the egg remember the egg is inactive once the egg is released it's not going anywhere. We'll just be there waiting for your orga. It is the duty of your orga semen to go and meet the eggs. So now when your orga have deposited this during your flow, then immediately, because these people with 21 need to be careful, extremely careful, because immediately you are dropping your OV. Immediately you are, your mercy is finishing. You are entering exactly to the ov the distance is coming out okay let's see now you jollificated through your mercy even if you do not jollificate in your ovular day but you jollificated this day you will still become pregnant because there is already something there to fertilize the egg but if you want to increase the chances then you jollificate on the seventh day which is the OV day, the day the egg will be coming out. Some people ask some questions that will make you to imagine. All these things that I'm teaching, you should use your brain. 
I am talking about 21 to 25. Somebody is, st is still here asking me what about some someone with 24 and 25. So you cannot figure it out. So this is how it happened. If you have 35, 35 is the longest. Then 35, immediately you enter 16th, 16th, I mean the 16th day, 17th day, 18th day, 19th day 20 to 21 you these are your 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 most and um, a high chance of getting belly but with 35 research says that is on 19th circle the 19th that you are going to ov you are going to ov so but 16th 17th 18th is your body is is your fertile windows fertile windows means when your body is ready that your this thing will go there your body is open to uh, receive a pregnancy so i believe are you learning from this thanks sister please i don't know how to count it like i saw you don't know go and learn it you see people don't like to learn i will teach you pay me Pay me, subscribe to this page. You guys doesn't subscribe. Ordinary subscribe. Even ordinary share. This person asking this question did not share this video. She didn't even like. She have not liked the page. She's asking me. I am teaching you if you want to learn. I said it before. There are videos of uh, um, how to calculate your uh, circle. is here on Facebook. Go and search it. There are some medical practitioners have done if you cannot listen to it in Facebook, go to YouTube. It's there. Go to Google. Make research. Use your time. I carry picking for back. I they study. They teach. You, you can do what I'm doing. You can do. Nobody sat me down to teach me all these things. I make research. When you want to know something, if you want to broaden your knowledge, you need to study. We don't need to, we don't like cracking our brain. We don't like disturbing our brain. We like our brain to be quiet. So you need something, right? You move, work for it. It's very simple. Nobody taught me how to calculate it. I learned it by myself and I'm teaching you. You can learn and teach another person. If I calculate it for you now, which means you cannot teach another person. Look at Cindy. Cindy is here answering your question. She studied too. She learned. If you are here, you must learn. Even if say they put a block for your brain, come out and learn. It will help you to help when, when once you are educated, once you are learned, you, you become how will I put it? You you become valuable to your community, people are around you. Like there is nowhere I will step now. Uh, people will suffer to Gary Bell eh? because I will be there telling them, do this, look at what you will do, look at what you become valuable. You become well respected. And when people are respecting you, somebody out there will be there jealousy. Can you do what the person is doing? Once you are learning, you are doing something that impacts other people's life. You are a valuable person. And I want each and every one of you to be that. It mustn't be by teaching. Maybe you are rich. You, you help people around you. You can train people. You can, you can be a philanthropist. You can be a motivator. You can be a motivational speaker. There are sometimes people will listen to your word, your speech. They will be encouraged. Try to be assets. Okay? When you come here, you learn. Don't learn only for myself. Some people know me, 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 me. That's why sometimes you see them. Once they become pregnant, they will fly like butterfly. No, we'll see them again. When you learn, try to impart knowledge. Try to extend your, your help and your value to other people. Now, only God will bless you. Human beings cannot bless you. You cannot. There is something somebody was complaining to me the other day. He said, somebody I have. I share your video. I told her everything. Uh, she watched your video. She became pregnant. She couldn't even tell me thank you. She went to tell. I said, my dear, you have done your work and God has blessed you. Human beings are unsatisfiable. Even human beings, if you buy yourself for them, they wouldn't even value you. 
you won't you especially the one that baffles me is people you don't know people you are trying to help people you are trying to bring up these same people are the ones that want to bring you down <laughs> but me when i do something for somebody i don't expect anything from you many people that got pregnant in this platform they are telling me ma send me your number send, send me your card number so that i said please my joy is that you have become pregnant you are happy that is my joy if if you want to send me a gift it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a different thing it's coming from you i don't want to see that i'm tasking or you are giving me because no if i do that i'm taking glory for god but if it is a gift yes i can accept gift but in terms of paying no so my dear sisters i think we are going to stop here for today and um, on wednesday if i have time what topic would you guys like me to treat because from the questions i'm receiving from messenger it shows me that a lot of you do not know how to you, you don't know anything about ovula you don't know your circle i don't know what do you what would you like me to teach cindy what would you like me to teach it's normal as long as it's between 21 to 35 okay so cindy thank you i think chioma thank you and thank for everybody that participated if you haven't shared if you haven't liked if you haven't followed this page please as you are going out share this video recommend this page tell your friends about this page and also if it touches your heart if you are in europe asia us australia subscribe subscribe to support us in this page and god will bless you Keep on praying, keep on trying, do not give hope. Do not give hope. Do not, you heard the song that I sang from the beginning. God will do it for you. God will do it. God that is blessing all these people that I'm posting their testimony is the same God. It doesn't change. It's the same God today today tomorrow yesterday and forever he never changed and he will never change he said he said of his word not to come to pass let heaven and earth come to pass so keep on praying keep on believing remember the advice i give you if you are not married and you enter the person that want to marry you say no go and do don't mind him tell him bye bye and see the blessings of God upon you. I love you all. Cindy, Cindy, thank you so much. Thank you, all of you.